This room ain't so bad. I could get used to this. Thomas, the toffee stain practically blends in with the look. If you lose 
anything else, it's good to know we can push up. Welcome to Rizzo's Distillation Station, where we process scented rocket fuel, bubbly beverages, and spirits that'll make you smile, all in the same system of pipes. The top level of the distillery is available to all guests. However, it saddens me to inform you that... Yes, that is not what I meant. Nice try, visitor, but I am not authorized to either confirm or... Okay, we are currently in a classified state of emergency. Don't forget to sample every flick. Yes, but not at this time. Access has been barred to all non... Wow, so you are. Gosh, can I get an autograph? He's so smart and strong, or... Well, at least he's very strong. Oh, please contact Administrator Ludovico if you feel this decision. On the upper floors of the facility, we are proud to offer investors and celebrities alike a... Tours are entirely self-guided, so feel free to try one. Once you've reached the tasting room, your tour will have completed, and... Normally, yes, but at this time, ticket sales are on hold until our current... Thank you for your understanding, and we hope that you will... Don't forget! Rizzo's puts the... Oh my, but I've endeavored to follow... E Correction for the purposes of honesty. I've endeavored to follow every contractual clause. Thinking on such a time makes me unhappy. As such, I avoid doing... Yes, that's right. The way I see the world, it's so pretty now. All sparkling and prismatic. Technically, you are correct. I am ultimately a flawed being, as are all... Wonderful! I am... Welcome, valued patrons, to our splendid... Birdie Holcomb is likely to spirits and sweets. Rizzo is committed to bringing joy and happiness to our... Ah, I see you stumbled. Now that you've seen behind the scenes, I bet you're pretty thirsty. Well, not to worry. We have every flavor of spectrum available to delight your palate. Please note that tour guests are limited to a maximum of three different Rizzo's flavor samples. All beverages must be consumed. Thank you present. greatly for stopping by. On behalf of Rizzo's, I hope you enjoy viewing a small part... ...of our facility. You again! I sure was hoping you'd stop by. Please allow me to remind...
Inspector, I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector. I was hoping you wouldn't say that. What makes you sure it was Bertie? He has always had serious temper issues. Walk me through your reasoning. What happened on the... Yes, Bertie's teammates were arrested, but he was absent. That's the trouble with Bertie. When his pride is wounded, he responds with... Plasma burns and blunt force trauma. That is an elegant solution. I suppose I have no choice. Don't be ridiculous. I was a great admirer of Black Hole Birdie. Why would I want to see my company's greatest star locked up in Tartarus? Don't worry. You've done everything I asked for. And more. We're finished here. The labyrinth is... Wait! Don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols! The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now. No, I don't think it's me they want. They're after what I'm protecting. Damn it. Someone's interfering with my transmission. Can you read the... Whoever the real killer is, I got a feeling they're going after Mr. Ludovico. I guess, if we have to. Getting kind of tired of kicking my heels up in the penthouse all... Hmm. All right. I got nothing going on. We should definitely go. From the depths of Terra 2 to the... Think of this as an opportunity to... T Be right there. Heading back. Relocating. Coming, customer. Here we go. Object is soon to be backwards.
solution for this job. up to me sooner or later, Inspector. I was just hoping you'd find me standing over the Administrator's corpse. What in law's name? Halcyon Helen, how are you still alive? Oh, is that Ludovico I hear? Perfect. I'm so glad he's still in the Brace yourself, Inspector. You're about to learn the biggest secret in the Aperwave industry. Halcyon Helen was never one person. I shared this role with my twin sister, Belinda. A twin? <laughs> the only thing worse than being an only child has got to be having a perfect sibling. Can you imagine the parents? Malfunction. Comprehension module is imminent for overload. Belinda and I were the best kept secret in the business. Nobody could tell us apart. And certainly not a peevish, petty, miserable little worm like Quentin Ludovico. So when I discovered the truth, when I realized what Ludovico was about to unleash on this colony, Belinda paid the price. My plan to save Halcyon. I'm not a murderer, Inspector. I acted in defense. I had to defend Halcyon's future. Tell the truth, Ludovico. There's nothing safe about Spectrum Brown. You want to infest this entire colony with those disgusting parasites. They're not parasites. These creatures are symbiotic life forms. They belong to the highest order of life form, capable of living in perfect harmony with humanity. The symbiotes evoke a feeling of joy in their host. A bliss so pure, so profound, as to render the most exquisite recreational substance obsolete. Oh, don't you see, Inspector? A host only turns violent if they're carrying too many symbiotes, or if they see you as a threat. Listen to me. I never wanted to take a life, but I had no choice. I couldn't let anyone destroy this colony's only chance at... But what about Helen? What about all the innocent people she's killed? No one I crossed off was innocent. Have you met Dr. Blossom? She was practically a reptile. A cold-blooded psychopath who toyed with human lives in the name of scientific advancement. Leora Blossom wasn't a person. She was a weapon in Ludovico's arsenal. The mascot was a spy working for Ludovico. He was ordered to keep an eye on Belinda and I, and report back to his master. You're being paranoid. I... Don't try to deny it. Anywhere Belinda and I went, that mascot was there to... That doesn't surprise me at all. He was on Ludovico's side, just like the others. Dr. Leora Blossom, Maria Keen, that slack wit of a mascot. They were standing between me and Ludovico, so I did what I had to do. I went through them. She was on Ludovico's side. When she realized I was alive, she refused to stay silent. I gave Maria a chance. I told her about Belinda. I asked for her help, but Maria had a duty to her company, and I had a duty to Belinda. You know what you need to do. 
Help me avenge Belinda. Help me put a stop to this. Don't listen to her. Listen to me. Throw in with Helen and you destroy Halcyon's only chance at real happiness. Think of the future, Inspector. You want me to explain my grand plan in the middle of a climactic moment like some two-bit serial villain? We've talked enough. You're either with me, or you're with the Administrator. It's a deal. Couldn't agree more. The last thing this colony needs is more grinning idiots. We don't have a lot of time. We need to get out of here. Uh-uh, not so fast. I'm sorry to do this to you, Inspector. Truly, I am. If it's any consolation, Helen has brought some remarkably powerful explosives. Goodbye, Inspector. Hel Damn it. He sealed us in, but I think I know another way out. strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. Thank you, but no. I can't grieve properly while Ludovico's still breathing. So let's see if we can't solve that problem first. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not gonna sit idly by. If he can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, he'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Precisely. I see we're in your wheelhouse, Inspector. We're going to need two ingredients. A sample of Essence of Sprat, and one intact pod of Parasite Egg. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat Essence. Well, I'm glad one of us is an expert. 
Most of what I know is based on Dr. Bloss. Sprats have an adaptive immune system. They don't suffer from the diseases and parasites they carry. Dr. Blossom experimented with Sprats and accidentally discovered a way to become immune to the parasites. That's probably when she decided to switch to human testing. You're a scientist and an inspector? I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. I'm glad I could count on your expertise. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system. Are you worried I'm gonna shoot you in the back? You're right. You do deserve the spotlight. Here. You take good care of my needler. There is one other thing. While you're at Piraeus Spaceport, have- I know, Cedric. Best of luck, Inspector. Why, Inspector? Am I being questioned? All right, Hawthorne it is. Belinda and I shared the role of Helen, but she was also the only person who knew the real me. I could be myself around Belinda, and she could be herself around me. Parents, naturally. An agent, a couple of directors. To them, Helen was a brand. Revealing our secret meant damaging that brand. Belinda and I saw Helen as an act of theatric sleight of hand. And if I hadn't underestimated Ludovico, it should have been me in that ballroom. Belinda died because I was careless. Never mind that. No. Belinda enjoyed the secrecy. And then, when she grew tired of all the people and all the attention, she was the secret twin. She had a comfortable life in the shadows. What I want is my sister back, but I'll settle for killing Ludovico. I'm glad I could satisfy your curiosity. Yes, Hawthorne, I did. Leora Blossom and Maria Keane were on Ludovico's side. I had to cross them off. Could you believe me if I said I gave the constable a chance? Maria said I was guilty of corporate sabotage and that she had a duty to report me. Maria was defending my sister's killer. If someone murdered one of your crew in cold blood, what would you do? So you do understand. Was there anything else? Yes, this is mine. I'd kept notes on everything I suspected, everything I'd discovered. Words and phrases that had a special meaning to us. Only two people in the universe knew that language. Thank you, Inspector. Keep the data pad. All of You don't know how many times I relived this moment in my mind. I discovered what Ludovico was up to when I toured the orchards. I threatened to expose his plan. Ludovico decided to eliminate me. He programmed Burbage 3001 to fire on his command and disabled the security cameras in the ball. I'm sure he thought it was my skull he caved in with a bottle of Spectrum Brown. Burbage covered his blow with a plasma shot and then Ludovico wiped his memory. I don't think he expected you to be so competent. In the end, hiring you may have been his undoing. I went after Leora Blossom, and you were just one step behind me. I programmed an automech to steal some explosives from Cedric, but you weren't far behind. You were always hot on my heels, one step behind and catching up. <laughs> I like your confidence. It's a long story, Hawthorne. It was supposed to be just another marketing job. Rizzo's wanted Halcyon Helen to be the face of Spectrum Brown. 
All we had to do was spend a few weeks on Eridanos. Shake some hands, sign a few autographs, drink a bottle of Spectrum Brown in front of a camera, and try to smile. Belinda didn't want to go. But I wanted a change of scenery. Belinda always hated endorsement deals. They felt cheap to her. Inauthentic. She always believed her first priority was to our fans. Nothing. She took the job when I did. Belinda and I arrived on Eridanos and played our usual game of trading places. Belinda was unhappy for the first few days, but then she met Bertie Holcomb. Bertie has a dreadful temper. I was worried about Belinda for a while, but Bertie wasn't the person I should have kept an eye on. I had a feeling Ludovico was hiding something. Belinda stayed busy socializing with the celebrities around the complex. I saw everything. The test subjects, the parasites. Spectrum Brown was never safe to drink. It would have sold out in a month. This colony loves novelty. From Emerald Vale to Byzantium. A parasite in every brain and a grin on every face. <sighs> I was careless. I was risking Belinda's life every step of the way and I never even realized. I wish it were that easy. Still, thank you. Was there something else you wanted to talk about? 